Hey ladies, welcome back to the channel. Be sure to check out our Black Barbie and Halloween themed merch in the video description. A young woman who goes by Lexi Kalina on TikTok recently went viral for listing stipulations for her pregnancy. Absolutely nobody asked for this, but here are my stipulations for pregnancy. Starting with no ring, no baby. I will not be elaborating on that. Second one, from the moment I'm aware of conception, I will no longer be working until the child is in JK or at least four years old JK's junior kindergarten. Next, push present per child. That can range from a car, it can range from traveling to some place, but whatever it wants to be. Then we have a doula and a night nurse. You guys should search up what those are because I plan on getting my full eight hours of rest. Mm, maybe I'll be pumping, but we could get into that. Then we have therapy sessions booked six months out postpartum because we all know about postpartum depression, but have you guys heard of postpartum psychosis? Next, we have surgery pre-booked if needed, breast lift, tummy tuck. If I decide that, you know, my body looks kind of crazy after having this baby, I want to go back to how I looked pre-baby. We better have that booked. Then the last thing is, of course, my baby moon because I need to relax, enjoy my traveling before my life changes forever. But yeah, these are this is my list. I want better for the girlies. Today I want to have a discussion about an issue I see happening a lot lately. Men who try to make women feel bad for having high standards. And this is something that has actually been happening for generations. This happens whenever we vocalize wanting more out of dating, relationships, and life in general. Men are often praised for being picky or knowing what they want, while women get accused of being too demanding. We should be able to have standards without shame. At the end of this video, instead of sharing some of the negative reactions that she received, I am going to post a few comments from women who have decided to extend her list by adding their own stipulations. But first, let me briefly touch on three of the many reasons why there's backlash when we raise our standards. Insecurity. Sometimes men feel threatened or insecure when a woman knows her worth and won't settle, but that's on them, not us. Control. Some want to control or shame women into lowering standards because it serves their needs. Don't let anyone make you compromise what you want. Confidence. Having standards takes confidence. Some may want to diminish that to make you doubt yourself. But you should feel proud, not guilty. At the end of the day, don't let anyone make you feel less than for knowing your worth. You deserve someone who can meet your standards without trying to manipulate or shame you. Stay strong in what you want and what you know you deserve. Now, let's take a look at comments from women who have added their own stipulations to this list. Drop yours in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Take care of yourself. Please add a child contract where y'all agree on financial terms for the kids because single married mothers exist. My exact list. But add a chef for curated meals and pelvic floor training. Don't forget the mom car. You need a nice SUV to drive them around and get coffee. Can we add parenting classes? We have to be on the same page about parenting. And I want expert opinions. I also want my husband to put $5,000 into a CD trust every year with the baby being the beneficiary. Housekeeper, meal services slash delivery, funds for career coaching when ready to re-enter workplace, retirement investments while not working. A personal chef a few times a week that understands post-pregnancy hormonal changes and can cook accordingly to optimize your recovery and health. Add the spa. There is a spa I will be going to where all I do is rest and feed, and they take care of the baby. This is me as F. I'm 27 and refuse to have a child without the right accommodations. Only thing she missed that's on my list is a full-time nanny and housekeeper and money for private school. Spousal support during work time off allows you to make money slash invest while you're not working. Add a chef because you need to rest and conserve energy after giving birth. Home-cooked meals and soups is a must during postpartum. Prenuptial agreement including infidelity clause with $150,000 per child. I'm child free by choice. Adding to my teach my son this list because I ain't trying to have him be no deviant like his father. I agree with everything, but I would want a personal trainer instead of surgery, personal preference because I'm not risking my life for vanity. Paid healthcare for at least five years post kids, unless there are chronic pregnancy related conditions. Everything, all of this. Because there is no way in hell I am growing bones from scratch for free. I'm so okay being someone's ex-wife who left with something 
versus the baby mama who got left with nothing but a baby.